Welcome to South East Today. I'm Rob Smith. And I'm Polly Evans. And contemporary artists in Kent remember the horrific Zong massacre when 133 slaves were drowned for the insurance. Now, in uh, 1781, one of the most disgraceful episodes in British maritime history took place when the crew of the slave ship the Zong threw 133 men, women and children overboard in order to claim on the insurance. The outrage which followed the legal case led eventually to the abolition of the slave trade. Well, today the Turner Contemporary in Margate hosted a unique event with dance and music to mark the anniversary of the Song Massacre. And at its heart, JMW Turner's remarkable painting, The Slave Ship. Robin Gibson reports. A highly experimental choral work featuring recorded sound and even mobile phones written by composer and sound artist M. Peasgood. It was all a bit of a happening, with the audience invited to don blindfolds so that they can concentrate purely on what they heard. My piece more focuses on migration, so uh, especially at the moment with the, way, with the current political climate. So um, I wanted to get people to maybe look at migration differently. There's quite a lot of hostility in Thanet. It's a place divided. There's hostility on one end. There's warmth on the other. It's, it's people are confused about migration and about what it means in society. Translated into performance, it meant 60 local singers mixing with 300 recorded voices and statements on the theme of home, homelands and migration. The mobile phones were a symbol of those talking to home from far away. A day of art events here at Turner Contemporary, time to coincide with the anniversary of the Zong Massacre. Turner's painting, The Slave Ship, was his way of making public this horrific event. Men, women and children were callously thrown to their deaths by the crew of the slave ship Zong to save on rations and water. Shamefully, the ship's owners tried to claim insurance for their commercial loss. Turner himself had invested in slavery but was converted to the cause of abolition. Ports that pass is a new quirky contemporary dance take on nationality, travel and identity, all part of our modern world. It feels like being stuck in the terminal trying to go somewhere uh, with lots and lots of people walking around you and some people you end up interacting with accidentally. Like Turner's painting, it was a day where art was used to explore a sobering lesson from history, coloured by themes we still recognise today. Robin Gibson, BBC Southeast Today, Margate. Sobering indeed. 